The C and avoid method of collision avoidance is used as the primary means of separation between aircraft operating under visual flight rules. Just as it sounds, this method involves looking for aircraft and maneuvering as necessary. While your eyes are able to see a wide area at once, only a small area in the center of the visual field is sharply focused. As a result, pilots use a visual scanning technique in order to systematically examine each area of the sky for other aircraft. You can spot an airplane ten times further away if you are looking directly at it. Visual scanning technique involves looking at every portion of the sky. To accomplish this, use short and regularly spaced eye movements. Examine about ten degrees of the sky at a time and stay focused on each ten degree portion of the sky for at least one second. This allows your mind enough time to examine what the eye is now focused on. Since other aircraft might be climbing or descending, scan above and below the horizon, as well as at your own altitude. As a general rule, keep your eyes focused no more than 4 to 5 seconds on anything inside the airplane for every 16 seconds spent scanning outside the airplane. In other words, your eyes should be focused inside the airplane no more than 1 quarter to 1 third of the time. When you see another aircraft, notice its altitude relative to yours. If an aircraft appears to be above the horizon, it is probably higher than your flight path. An aircraft below the horizon is probably at a lower altitude. However, just because an aircraft is currently at a different altitude does not mean it will stay there. Remember to watch for aircraft which could be climbing or descending. Also watch the aircraft's relative motion. If an aircraft appears to have no motion relative to your airplane, it is likely flying directly toward you. Because of this lack of relative motion and the aerodynamic design of an aircraft, an aircraft approaching head-on is more difficult to see. Be aware of areas that are more congested. Most mid-air collisions occur during times of good weather, usually near a high traffic area. Examples of high hazard areas include navigational aids, airports, along federal airways, and in areas used for pilot training. Keep a clean windshield. It's hard to spot other aircraft during the flight if you're looking through a windshield that is dirty or covered in smashed bugs. Other obstructions to visibility include portions of the airplane itself. It is fine to occasionally perform gentle banks left and right in order to allow you to scan areas blocked by portions of your airplane. Organize materials needed during the flight beforehand and make note of radio frequencies to be used. This will reduce the amount of time spent looking inside the airplane during the flight. Your eyes contain two different types of light receptors called cones and rods. The cones do a good job of providing sharp detail and good color depth. However, cones require bright light for their operation. Rods are adapted to work in low light conditions but provide little detail or color depth. The cones are concentrated in the center of your visual field, providing you the sharp, high color area of vision you use in bright light conditions. The rods are distributed elsewhere in the eye, providing you peripheral and night vision. As a result of this distribution of cones and rods, the area you see most clearly during the day becomes more or less a blind spot at night. In low light conditions, we become more reliant on our peripheral vision. When scanning for traffic at night, you have a harder time seeing objects you are looking directly at. To most effectively scan for traffic at night, use your peripheral vision. This method of scanning is called off-center viewing.